Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be showing you how to get infinite fury meter, which will be really overpowered for farming, especially when you're farming something like a sea event, like a terror shark or a leviathan or something. It's really OP. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Let's get straight into the video. So, this method is what I've been doing while trying to grind for terror sharks and leviathans and stuff. It is really good. So, basically what you're going to want to do is while you're fighting one of those things, you go near it just enough so one of the moves hits you. And let's say I'll just waste all my fury right here, get rid of some of it. I know I don't have dragon stats at the moment, that's because I'm using funny funny sword. Okay, as you can see, I'm under one notch, and now I'm holding Draconic Claw, and then waiting. Now that Island Empress hit me, I get a little bit of fury back, so then I can hold my next move. Then I wait for her to attack me again. There we go. And then I hold Draconic Claw. You can repeat this process like I did while farming terror sharks and stuff like that and that's how I got my anchor and I even soloed the shark that has extra health for the anchor with this method it's that overpowered I also recommend you to have shark race or fish race but it's not needed as long as you have like a defense item Hold this one. This is nice. Right, it's at 10,000 health left. It's almost dead. Come on. And this last move. Yes! I got the shark anchor. <laughs> Let's go! That's how you get infinite fury. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.